Thanks for watching today. This video is about how to wash your motor scooter. Now, first thing is, get your bike in the shade if you can. Now, the reason is, once you put your soap on, if you're in the sun, it dries pretty quickly. So you don't want the soap or whatever kind of a cleansing product uh, that you're using to dry in the sun. Um, so get it in the shade. Yeah, so you want to get it up on its center stand. Now, the reason you want it up on your center stand is because then your bike's all kind of horizontal, horizontal and level, but you've also got access to your, your rear wheel, so you can spin your rear wheel. No, hang on. Yeah, your rear wheel, so you can clean the different parts of your rear wheel. So I'll just show you how to do that. Next thing you need is your bucket of water. And some soap. Now I've got this machine here that actually squirts out the soapy suds. So if you don't have that, then you're probably gonna get yourself a bucket of bucket, another bucket with the soap. So you got your clean water and your soapy, soapy water as well. Now why you have the two is because once you've applied your, your soap, um, you're scrubbing it every now and again you will need to clean that sponge or that that washer whatever you're you're using to wash your bike to wash with soap and you want to clean it off so you put it in the, the clean water and then back to washing so I'll show you I'll show you all about that in a moment so first thing is to wet the bike down so I'm gonna wet the bike down now whether you use just your garden hose or you use a high pressure hose doesn't really matter but just be warned if you're using a high pressure hose don't shoot it at things like bearings or, or cables. You don't want to knock anything loose. So just be a little bit careful if you're using a high pressure hose or water supply. Um, but either's fine. You just want to wet down the bikes. Once you've wet down the bike, you can then apply the soap and give it a, give it a sponge off. So when we're hosing it down, what you're doing is first of all, you just want to get your bike wet. But the other thing is use your hose to knock off any kind of loose gravel or mud. Like I had a little bit of gravel, sand kind of thing where my foot rest was. There's also a bit of mud build up around the tires. So use your hose to get that bulky stuff off and you're wetting the bike down. Next step, I'm gonna apply the soap. So the next step is, once I've soaked everything up, is get the sponge and give it a good scrub. Now I'm gonna do this fairly swiftly because I don't want any of the soap to be drying and I'm gonna rinse it off pretty swiftly as well. I go from top down, and when I get down to the bottom, uh, these are pretty handy, the old scrubbing brush for the wheels. And now she's, I'm gonna have to quickly rinse it off because I see it's starting to dry now. Once you're doing that uh, final wrench, you might see a few spots that you've missed. Now, I know I've missed that front wheel, so I'm gonna give that a good scrub with my scrubbing brush. Now, another thing is a little bit, uh, I've, I've washed a lot of trucks and cars in my day, and actually one of the, I've, I've been using the rag there, but actually with your hand, 
if you're not too worried about your hand, you can actually feel the grime as well when you're washing. So don't be afraid to use your hand for that extra bit of sensitivity. Uh, but I'm gonna scrub these front wheels and then, then it's time to dry it off. And actually notice the process is pretty quick. It's pretty quick. I've just finished scrubbing it all. Uh, I'll give it one more rinse, rinse down and then I'm gonna dry it off. Now there's two ways you can dry it off. One is with a chamois, one is with an air blower. Uh, I'm gonna use both. In case you're wondering, I'm in uh, Bangkok, Thailand. And these machines here, these machines here are fantastic. You've got, you got your water, tap water, which is to fill up your bucket. You got the air pressure, which is for drying. You got the soap, and you got the high pressure water. Um, as you can see, I've, I've for my Vespa, for the water spray, I've, I got ten. It was ten baht, which is about like 30, 30 cents or forty cents, something like that. And I've only used half of it. And the same with the with the soap. I used the soap from that machine there because this one's out of order. Um, but the Vespa, that's not use a lot of water to clean and there's not a lot of soap and it's done quite quickly. So no excuse not to have your Vespa looking smick. Is it drying with the chamois? Yeah, Next thing I'll demonstrate is drying with the uh, air pressure gun. Now the benefits of the air pressure gun, you actually get that, um, you, you don't get any streaks that you can get when you're drying with a rag, but it's also those hard to get to spots you can blow, blow dry them with this. I think I'll get the bulk off. I think I'll get the bulk off with the rag, the chamois first, and then just do the finishing touches with the air pressure. you feel that sense of pride of having a nice clean bike the cleanest bike in the neighborhood uh, a couple of things to remember if you're going to use any kind of like degreaser um, or some like heavy duty cleaning product don't leave it sit on your bike too long or it could do some damage um, the other thing is make sure your sponges are clean because if your sponges are dirty you could be rubbing uh, like rocks or stones onto your bike which could damage the the paint or some other uh, any other surfaces now the last things when you take off also just gently apply your brakes because when during the washing process maybe the brake pads got got a little bit of water on them or or the discs got a bit of water water on it so you just want to make sure you dry them out you can do that by just gently app applying the brake making sure contact you're getting nice friction um, so your brakes work when you need them to work but anyway that's how you wash your bike Find a nice shaded spot, put it on its stand, wet it down, soap it, scrub the soap, wash it off, dry it, you're ready to go. You'll have the, uh, uh, you'll, you'll have the best bike on the street in no time. And as I say, this doesn't take very long, it doesn't take a lot of water or soap or time to wash your scooter. And one last little tip before you ride off, it's a good chance to give your helmet a bit of a wipe down. 
Now, best thing, you know, if you've got your chamois that you've just dried your bike with, there's probably a bit of moisture on it, and it's perfect for just cleaning your bike, uh, but cleaning your helmet, in particular the visor, so you've got nice clear vision. So give that a nice wipe down, that's, that's the final step. Don't do it if your chamois's dirty though. <laughs>